Today I'm excited because I'll be giving you the top five reasons why you should not be moving to Roseville, California. And I know it sounds like a weird thing to be excited about, but I promise I'm excited because I want to tell you the truth. I've lived here for the last three and a half years. I PCS here with my family because I got orders to build Air Force Base, which is about 45 minutes away from Roseville. And I've loved it ever since. This is the reason I became a realtor. I want to help more families move to Roseville because it's an awesome place. And honestly, it's a gem. But I do want to give you the cons and if you are considering moving here so you can have some type of truth to what people don't like about living here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, number one, I'm going to start with this. I originally had it written out as number four on my list, but I want to start with it as number one because there's limited public transportation here. If you don't drive a car or don't plan to drive a car, living in Roosevelt, California can be very challenging because there's limited amount of buses. You're not going to find trains. You're gonna have a difficult time getting around if you don't have some way of getting around or planning to take Uber or Lyft because you're not gonna take public transportation. So if you don't plan to drive, I know people tell you stick around and watch the whole video. Just go ahead and leave the video and reconsider maybe living in Sacramento, California or in a city where you can have better public transportation. But if you plan to live in Roseville, California, you need to know how to drive. Number two, high cost of living. Just like anywhere else in California, you know the cost of living can be high. If you are thinking about moving here though, a three bed, two bath, you can get that for around 500,000 to 600,000 depending on what you're looking for. But home prices range from 500,000 to 850,000. You have neighborhoods of million dollars. They're all kind of different homes that are here and very much different options depending on the size of your family and what you're looking for. It's affordable compared to San Francisco, LA, San Diego and you're still in California and get all the great benefits of living here. Number three, traffic. Yes, there's traffic. There's lots of people that live here. Roosevelt population is about 150 to 170,000 at this point in time of making this video. And it is increasing as more people are wanting to live here. And if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about living here. So just know you're not the only one that's thinking about moving here. So the infrastructure is continuing to grow. You will see the roads expanding. It's not that bad here, but if you get down to Sacramento, it's still not as bad as, like I said, LA or San Francisco, but you can get caught in some type of bumper to bumper traffic, but I've never been like standstill unless there was like a major accident that happened on the road, but you do need to plan that sometimes you can run into traffic if you're on a major highway like the US Highway 50 or Highway 80. Highway 65, you'll get some type of traffic there. So you do need to plan ahead. Number four, hot weather. I gotta talk about this. It's the summertime. It is hot. And I'm because I don't want to be biased in this video, I'm going to post a screenshot in this video. I'll put it somewhere here so you know what the weather is this week. And it's gonna be a really hot week. So if you can deal with this really, really hot week, which is probably the worst it's gonna be, then you'll be okay. You do have AC, air conditioning, you'll be okay if you can make it through the summer, but sometimes it can get hot. So I will be honest with you and I will share a screenshot of that so you can see the weather we're looking forward to this coming week of 4th of July. So you have a good idea. I will give you a bonus if you are thinking about living here as well. People do talk about wildfires in California. Roseville itself doesn't really have a big problem with wildfires, but if you go a couple hours more north, you might catch a lot of wildfires. If you go more down to San Diego area, you might catch more wildfires, but Roseville itself, there's no big issue with that. So if that is a concern, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Number five, if you're single, this is a family friendly, like Roseville it just has that vibe to go into it. But if you are single or you're trying to go on more dates or have more nightlife, Roseville, you're probably not gonna find it if you're trying to stay out all night and party at the clubs is just not going to be that scene here in this particular city. But the best part about living here is that Sacramento is a 30 minute, 35 minute drive away. You're downtown, you can catch a Kings game, you can go to bars, you can go to clubs. And then when you're done, you can drive 35 minutes and get back home. So you do have nightlife, but if you plan to have it close by where you can just go bar hop and just find different places, you're going to find limited amount here. There are places in like the older part of Roseville where there's clubs, pool halls, all of those things are here, but you're not gonna find a lot of it. There's great things about Roseville that I do want to mention. The great things about Roseville are great schools, safety, the, like the cost of living compared to everywhere else in California is great. It's just a, a simpler life. You are near a city like Sacramento, 35 minutes away. You are near two hours from San Francisco, 
two hours to Lake Tahoe. You can get some nice weather, especially now with this heat in the summer. It's just a great place to live. I really enjoy living here. And if you are considering moving to Roosevelt, California, please reach out to me. I, I would love to help you, give you more information, uh, show you the city, whatever it is you need to know so you can find out more information if you want to live here in Rockland, in Sacramento, Lincoln, California, wherever it is you may want to live. I'm more than willing to help you. I appreciate you watching this video. Go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. That really does mean a lot as making these videos does take a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a blessed day.